what's up YouTube so uh, got a battle here against some guy from Gamefax and um, I'm running my sand team, he's running a rain team he's got, also got the Kriyu uh, which is kind of a popular choice for rain teams because it can sort of uh, uh, trap the opponent's turn and turn, take it down with two earthquakes so uh, that's, a, that's a good choice for any, rain, for any rain team I think so I'm gonna up the and he's gonna up the Kriyu and um, so this means that I'm trapped and uh, he will be able to tweet KO me but uh, I'm just gonna get my rocks up because uh, I do have another red starter so I don't, I don't really mind trying to dying just as long as I get my rocks up and also I would like to break his sub because uh, any pop with substitute is annoying <laughs> so uh, I do break his sub crunch and my rocks are up so Tyranitar has done his job and he's gonna die now but I don't really care because like I said I do have another red starter and that is his power down, so it's alright, so I'm gonna go out to Landros, gonna get a sub up, gonna go to fire out some earthquakes and shit, so it's looking not looking too bad. So he's sensing his for to change the weather, which kinda sucks because now I don't get the stand force boost, but uh it's alright. So I uh, I don't see any lefties and he does not speed me, so that means that he's he is scarfed, which I'm okay with that because uh, that only means that I would be able to take him out earlier, so that's cool. So uh, I'm gonna go to Lander, now I'm gonna go to uh, Gastro and predict the Ice Beam and that's not, not, that's not gonna do much at all. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was like a 5th or something, so uh, actually a 4th, but didn't do much, so I'm gonna go to Alakazam predicting his switch, but he actually stays in, which is weird as, as, weird as something good. Um, yeah, I'm trying to not swear. <laughs> so he did decide to stay in and that is pulled to die for no reason at all. I guess he forgot about my Hippowdon, possibly. Anyway, I'm gonna go straight to my Hippowdon as he uh, can go for, for the electric move. And uh, he's gonna be in pro ice or grass, and that's probably ice though. And that's gonna do a good amount of damage, that's gonna be a tweet KO. And I did go for the toxic predicting a switch, I think. I did, but I missed it, so that, that kinda sucks. But I should've went for earthquake, so I guess that's my own fault for not going for earthquake or something. So, um, as we didn't guess around predicting the Hidden Power Ice, I think he's gonna Baton Pass and I'm like, shit. So, what is he gonna Baton Pass do? So, it's a friendly Dragonite, and that that's not good at all because Dragonite gives me uh, all kinds of troubles. And he's got to sub up, Skull is not able to break it, and he's gonna be able to set up the Dragon Dance and stuff. So, this is kinda. This, this, this could potentially be a. A really dangerous situation depending on how I handle it but I'm just gonna break his sub with skull and I'm gonna go out to uh, Hippodon uh, and hopefully I can survive a plus two uh, dragon claw but he could also have the outrage so still though I'm gonna go to Hippodon and he's gonna go for the sub and that is good because I now know I will be able to live any hit probably except outrage but I don't think he have it because, uh, well, actually, as we see later on, he doesn't have it, so, whoops, spoiler, spoiler, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna well win. He's gonna set up a dragon dance. Uh, I guess he got greedy. Because, uh, he didn't have this. He should have just went for an attack because the facing move was super obvious. But, uh, I just love this part though. Let, let, let's just listen to it. It's, a, it's amazing. So, anyway, I'm gonna go to have to Al Alakazam as stepfather because, uh, Nothing on my team enjoys uh, stacks uh, hurricanes, so I had to sacrifice something and Alakazam had to go. Um, so I'm gonna go to Lucario and I'm gonna extend speed, hoping it would KO his tornadoes. But he actually switched to Dark Tree, which is kind of a weird move. I guess he had to sacrifice something. So he's gonna go to Stormy and I'm just gonna stay in because I don't really have anything that wants to take a Hydro Pump. Well, I do have Gastron. Well, I guess it could have gone to Gastron, but. Uh, I start staying, get a source on top, and I'm gonna go for extreme speed, and that's gonna take him out. But unfortunately, life or vehicle will take me out too. So uh, that kind of sucks, but uh, I guess it was a fair trade. Though uh, I got, I took his uh, storm down, and he uh, and life recalled my Lucario down. So a fair trade, I guess. I'm gonna go to guest burn as he's gonna go to tornadoes, and hurricanes can do way too much. So I decided to go for scout because I know I, I can't stall him out really. Uh, well, I, I guess I could fish for a miss, but uh, that's kind of a risky play, so I'm just going to go for Skull, and that's going to take him out, so that's good. He's going to go to Yolteon, and he's going to go for a Sub, which is super odd, because 
as you will see in a moment, uh, sand Sandstorm will take him out, so that was the weirdest move ever. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. So he's got this Dragonite left, I think that's his last Pokemon. And uh, this is bad, because uh, I don't really have anything that can take him out, uh, except for the uh, Toxic, which can wear him down eventually. Uh, but I, I went for a Skull, predicting him to go for the Sub. But he actually roosts up, so that sucks. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go to Landorus this turn. Actually, I could have gone to Epodon too, but I want to Landorus because I was really. I know I can live a plus one Dragon Claw. Plus one out Outrage though? Probably not, but uh, I should be able to live this. And I'm gonna go for the Hidden Power Ice. Seeing as, as so that is my st strongest move. Uh, but he actually survives, and as you can see, Sandstorm almost takes him down, but uh, he survives with like 5%, I mean like 5 HP or something, so that kind of sucks. And what sucks even more is that I don't have a priority user or anything faster than him, since he is at 1 plus 1, so... But I'm gonna go to Hippodon, and I'm gonna go for the Toxic, and this is a crucial move, because if I hit the Toxic, then the game is mine, if I miss the Toxic, then he wins, basically. So um, I did went for toxic and I did hit it. So that's that that is that is pretty much the game because now now I'm gonna be able to uh, slack off the damage and toxic will make sure that he won't be able to uh, to take me down because uh, he's gonna need like two crits in a row. As you can see, Dragon Claw is a pre hit KO, so he's gonna need two crits in a row to be able to beat me, and he's not gonna get that. So and toxic is racking up more and more damage. So. It's looking pretty good, and well, like I said, the game is already mine, so so that will be the match. Uh, good game, uh, whoever I battle, someone on Game Packs. I usually find my battles there, and uh, if you want to battle me, send, send a PM or whatever, or post in the comments, whatever. I'm, I'm up for battles most of, most of the time, so just send a PM if you want to battle, and we'll battle. So, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so uh rate comment subscribe uh so i will see you next time and that is pretty much it so bye bye